Hey guys, welcome back. I want to share with you one simple trick to train your brain to remember English words faster. If you're struggling to remember English words, phrases and expressions when speaking or writing in English, this video will help you better train your brain to remember and recall that information when speaking, communicating or writing in English. Now, if this is the first time you're here on my YouTube channel, welcome. My name's Adriana from EnglishTeacherAdriana.com. I help English learners improve their English boost their confidence to finally speak English confidently. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on notifications so that you know you get that bell when I post my next video lesson here to help you improve your English. Now guys, before we go through this simple trick to remember English words, I'd love to hear from you. Tell me in the comments below this video, what are you doing at the moment to learn and remember English words? Add in as much detail as you can so that I can better understand what are you currently doing. Now guys, if you've been learning English vocabulary by memorizing word lists, so maybe you have a long list of words, maybe a teacher or somebody has given you a long list of words and you thought, hmm, this is a fantastic list of words for me to learn and I'm going to memorize them. So I'm going to create a list and I'm going to translate that word from English to my native language and I'm going to learn English vocabulary like this. Guys, this is not an effective way to learn English vocabulary. I've been a victim of it. I know many English learners, many foreign language learners have done this and maybe are still doing this, but there is an easier way to learn English vocabulary. Now, one simple trick which has really helped me to train my brain to remember words a lot faster in foreign language is to be writing, okay? So it's very important, as you already know, if you do want to remember words, you need to be able to use that vocabulary to remember that. And to be able to do this, you need to train your brain to do this. And a great way to do this from anywhere in the world, you don't need a teacher, you don't need somebody to guide you, is to be writing. Now you may be wondering, okay, writing is not the same Adriana as speaking. Yes and no. When you're writing in English, you have to recall and remember words, right? And if you can't do this when you're writing in English, you're not going to be able to do this when speaking in English. So writing is a powerful, it's a very simple trick you can incorporate in your study routine. And I wanna go through three levels. So a beginner, intermediate and advanced level way for you to incorporate this simple trick in your study routine. Now, if you're starting out to write in English, I suggest that you start with vocabulary. So simply writing down vocabulary in a book and using this in a sentence. Now I know this sounds contradictory. Before I said, okay, you shouldn't have a vocab book and you shouldn't be just writing down vocab. I don't want you to have a vocab book. I want you to think of this book as a diary. So while you are immersing yourself in the English language, as you already know, to achieve English fluency, you need to be surrounding yourself with the English language. While you are immersing yourself with the English language and you see important vocabulary you feel that you need to learn, I want you to write this down in your diary. Now, write down the word. And if you don't understand what the word means, then look this up in a monolingual dictionary. Guys, don't look this up in a bilingual dictionary, okay? If you can understand 50 to 70% of what I'm saying in this video lesson, you do not need a bilingual dictionary. Stop hindering your learning process. Keep challenging yourself so they can improve. And by using a bilingual dictionary, you're not challenging yourself. So you've looked up the word in a monolingual dictionary. Now it's time to be using this word in a written form. Create sentences. So maybe today you've listened to a podcast, you've identified 10 new words, maybe expressions, phrases, phrasal verbs, collocations, whatever it is, and you want to learn them. So you've looked them up in a monolingual dictionary and now you need to create sentences. Create sentences personalized to you and your life. Don't create sentences based on someone else's life or this person's life. Make sentences personalized to you. By doing this, you are training your brain to process that new information and which will help you better remember and recall that information in the long term. Now, this level was very basic. So if you're just starting out to write in English and you're really struggling to remember words, Try this for about 15 minutes a day. Don't overdo it, guys. Don't spend two hours a day writing, looking up words, doing that. You're going to get bored. 15 minutes is all that you need. If you're not able to fit in 10 new words in that 15 minutes, maybe for example, today you only fit in five words, aim for six words tomorrow and build your way up. We're striving to improve. You don't have to be perfect. Don't aim for perfection. 
but try to improve yourself from yesterday, try for a better tomorrow. Now in level two, this is a little bit different. So here in level two, we wanna train your brain to remember vocabulary, but also to be a little bit more creative. So this is perfect for intermediate learners, let's say. So people who are a little bit more used to writing in English. If you find yourself in level two, I suggest that you start by writing in a diary. So get yourself a diary and reflect on your day. Now a diary, journaling, whatever you wanna call it, I want you to sit down for 15 minutes a day and write everything what happened in that day. Now you could write about that day, what happened. You could write maybe about your boss, how great or how awful your boss is. You could write about watching this video. I don't care what you write about. You could write about your mobile phone, your sink, your curtains. Basically sit down for 15 minutes and try to write. Now I know a lot of you are gonna be like, yeah, but my grandma, I don't know. I'm just so scared, Adriana. What if I make a mistake? guys? Stressless. I don't want you to think about the grammar. Forget about the grammar. Just try to use a vocabulary that you know. Again, if you can understand 50 to 70% of this video, you do know a lot of grammar, you know a lot of vocabulary, but you're not using it. Challenge yourself to write about 150 words in 15 minutes every day. Look, I know a lot of you are going to be like 150 words in 15 minutes. You're crazy. Yes, I am a little bit crazy, but it is doable. Okay. But you need to start training yourself to do this. If you're starting out today and you can only write 20 words, look, 20 words is better than no words. Aim for 30 words tomorrow in 15 minutes. Aim for 40 words after three days. Aim for 50 words, my math's getting bad here. Basically try to increase uh, the word count by 10 every day afterwards and you'll see no time you will be able to get to 150 words. Now at this level, I suggest that you start writing about your day because it's fresh information and I'm sure you have a lot of vocabulary about this but in level three, we'll take this up a notch. Now in level three, this is great practice. Level three is great for you if you're preparing for IELTS, TOEFL and a proficiency exam, if you wanna have really advanced conversations. So maybe you're in a work setting and you know in those work settings when the conversations go off topic, so you have to have small talk about the news, about what's happening in the world, you know, those topics that you're really struggling to talk about. Basically in level three, what you need to be doing is listening and consuming more English. Now, what I suggest that you do is consume maybe a podcast episode. So listen to a podcast episode, read the daily news, follow sports updates, basically follow anything happening in the world. Now, think about your interests. So a lot of people like listening to TED Talks, some people don't. Some people like watching YouTube tutorials, I don't know, makeup tutorials, how to cook something, how to bake something, how to a DIY home project. Basically consume something in English. Now, you don't need to be consuming something that's really long. It could be a two minute video, it could just be a newspaper article. It doesn't need to be anything really long, okay? This is not studying. This is something that you should enjoy. Now, after you've consumed this information, what you could do is you could write in a diary a brief summary of what you've consumed. Now, of course, you're going to be consuming this in English, right? And you're going to be writing in English. This is a great way for you to, first of all, expose yourself to new topics you may have to talk about with other English speakers, maybe in proficiency exams, but also train your brain to remember vocabulary to talk about that topic. So aim to write in 15 minutes a brief summary, 150 to 200 words about what you learned. And maybe if you didn't even learn anything and you thought it was completely pointless, that video that you watched, maybe that article that you read, write down on the paper, hey, I hated this article because this, that, that. I feel like I wasted my time. It doesn't matter, these are your thoughts. So the whole point here is for you to express yourself, to communicate your ideas. There's no right or wrong, okay? No one can tell you what to think, but you wanna be able to communicate how you think. Now I do need to highlight that this one simple trick is really effective, but I know for sure that you're going to hate my life when you start doing this. Why? Because you need to use your brain. It's not easy to sit there and to write sentences to write a diary or to write a summary. But you need to understand that if you are consistent, if you try to do this every day, if you're not putting so much pressure on yourself, don't aim to have the perfect summary. Stress less about the grammar, about the words that you don't know. Stress less about not sounding so smart, if you sound a little bit silly, maybe you're using really simple language. 
at least you did something, okay? There are many people out there not writing, not doing anything to improve their English. If you do this on a daily basis, you will improve. Also note that I do say regularly throughout this video, aim for 15 minutes only. Don't spend two hours, please, on this, okay? 15 minutes a day. But I also do say aim for 150 words. If you can't do 150 words in the first 15 minutes and you only get 20 words, don't be hard on yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back and say, hey, look, okay, I did it. I got 20 words down. Tomorrow, let's aim for 25. Try to challenge yourself every single day. Strive to improve and don't compare yourself to other people, to how they're writing, because learning a second language does take time. But if you do learn effectively, if you do use this simple writing trick, it will help you train your brain to better remember English words when speaking, writing, communicating in English. Now guys, I would love to hear from you. Don't forget to tell me in the comments below this video, how are you currently learning and remembering new English words? Make sure to add in as much detail as you can. Remember guys, if you like this video lesson, please do let me know by smashing that like button, like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on notifications, so that you know, get that bell when I post my next video lesson here to help you improve your English. Continue learning with me by downloading my free audio guide where I share with you exactly what you need to be doing every single day to drastically improve your confidence speaking in English. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I look forward to seeing you in my next lesson. Bye for now.